What's good folks, it's Nightmare Frame here with a busted, broken helmet ability. Now this ability isn't broken in terms of doing insane damage, but it allows you to turn off enemy AI and leave them to be even dumber than they already are. Now this is a little tribute for Octavia Prime since she's coming out in a couple of days. So for those who've been saving your regular Octavia, well, this is your chance to see how powerful and busted her Resonator is. Resonator is a very simple ability that messes up Camper Octavia builds, but when used alone or with other types of builds, it is one of the best crowd control abilities in the game, and the fact that it's a helmet ability just breaks the game even more. Great job, DE. For those who haven't seen the video where I released a while back using Resonator on Wisp, I ended up going up against level 6000 plus without using the health moat or getting hit. Since the resonator could pick up wisps moats, it can move faster with the haste moat and spread the shock CC even further. Great job DE. Now with the helmet system we are able to literally break the game and trivialize everything we do, basically making an easy game even easier. So if you thought you ever had a hard time with certain objectives or going up against a certain group of enemies, then this is for you. Now coming at you with 6 different builds on 6 different frames that become even more brain dead to play with the resonator equipped onto them. If you ever had trouble with steel path anything, just put resonator. If enemies are hitting you too much, just put resonator. You want to AFK and not die, just put resonator. Literally resonator on every frame. I'm, I'm kidding, don't do that. But you kind of get what we're getting at. Just to prove a point of not getting hit, you can run speed Nova with resonator. Yes, a negative power strength Nova that speeds everything around you. Kind of sounds scary, right? Especially for steel path. Well, guess what? Just put resonator and look at that. Enemies don't even hit you. And not only that, you can even use this same setup in a sortie defense. And guess what? The enemies don't even attack the defense objective. All right, here is the build range, duration, utility mods, just press the abilities and kill the enemies with whatever you want because they can't fight back. If you think Speedva with Resonator is dumb, then just wait just to trigger Mesa mains and have people who think Mesa's regulators are the best thing in the world. Well, I removed her fourth ability in place of Resonator and decided to go as a melee Mesa with the Muscle Flash Augment. So this is a shooting gallery augment which blinds enemies after you kill or assist in killing six enemies while under the effects of shooting gallery. Enemies killed are blinded and staggered, open to finishers and stealth multipliers. So basically, you jam enemy weapons while they can't even shoot at you because resonator. Then to add insult to injury, we blind them, but hey, that's not all. Why not run Arcane Trickery for even more survivability and the memes? This Arcane turns you invisible for a short duration when you do a finisher kill, because why not? All right, that's over the top, but wait, let's just add Resonator to a turret Warframe like Zaku, where enemies just die before they reach you, but hey, Unfortunately, Vast on Time doesn't pause Resonator duration. We can still recast it for some easy shield gating when using the Augur mods. Here is the setup, similar to the build I used on my Gunrunner Zaku, but just changed a couple of mods, but the usual range, power, strength, and duration. Straightforward and easy to play. Now, speaking of dumb, unkillable, and pretty much ridiculous like the previous ones, this is a Titania, and yes, that's how you properly pronounce it. Titania. This setup is the epitome of crowd control. I mean, they, they all are, but let's be honest, we're just breaking the game at this point. At least it ain't shooting gallery on Loki. I will be using her lantern to draw enemies towards it, but there will still be enemies shooting at you as they walk towards the lantern. So the resonator just completely nullifies enemy fire. And you can also use your first ability for even more added crowd control. Taking a look at the build, the usual range, duration, and utility mods for the extra survivability and making her easy to use as if it wasn't easy to do so in the beginning. We ignore power strength because it isn't needed and because I removed her fourth ability for resonator. 
I'm pretty sure you're getting tired of these insane CC setups. So let's just change up the pace and enable a DPS frame to maintain her slaughter without having to think much about survivability since she doesn't get hit as she wipes the map in the process. This is Saren with Resonator. I say that Saren doesn't need a helmet ability to make her stronger because she doesn't. So this is technically a meme, but the results speak for themselves. Resonator is an insane ability. I replaced her molt for Resonator, keeping Molt and Resonator together just made no sense. I decided to keep her 4 and replace her 2. It's a very simple build, giving us range and duration, but not falling under 100% power strength with Saren because that's dumb. And you can fit this build without an Umbral Forma, so relax. But imagine not having Umbral Forma on Saren because she deserves it. But imagine needing Umbral Forma on any frame anyway. <laughs> And lastly, the final setup is on the Goatman himself, Oberon. This is for those who think that health, armor, and healing is needed to survive high levels. You can take all these builds into long endurance runs without having to use Martyr Symbiosis to survive because, because you rely on shield gating, maneuvering, and iframes. And of course, let's not forget mass genocide. Since I removed the third ability, I don't need power strength, just the go-to, range and duration with the utility mods. I know people love seeing big health, armor and shields and power strength numbers, but you don't need any of that to survive. Just use Resonator, lol. And don't forget, this is Octavia's least used ability. Just think about that. Anyway, that has been it for me. I do hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, feel free to leave a like, share, and subscribe for more Warframe content, streams, and so much more. Do refer to the description. Thanks for watching, and as always, peace.